All right, fifth graders, today you're going to be assembling your drawing with a collage in the background. So we need to make our papers for today, our painted paper, after you finish drawing out your skull. So you might have to draw your skull again. Um, and if that's the case, just go and grab another piece of white paper or turn your paper over. You should have the other side. We're going to cut these out. So if your name is written small in the side in the corner, that's all right. All right. After you're done drawing, what you're going to want to do is start creating your background. And what you're going to be doing is a wet on wet um, painting. And we're using really big brushes today because we're going to just kind of paint fast. So I like to start with my medium to lightest color, and that's going to be a brown. We're kind of thinking about George O'Keefe and the landscape in um, Arizona. It's kind of brown and desert-like. So I'm just kind of using that big brush and painting a whole bunch of brown across my page, okay? Working quick, working fast. You are spending a lot of time creating a lot of detail. So this is kind of the opposite, okay? You're able to work fast and quick and really just lay down some color. So I want to use some white. I need to clean off my brush. Um, I want to blend some white onto the brown. Now white is a really light color, so if my brush is dirty at all, I am going to get brown in that cup of paint and that will kind of wreck it for other students. So you saw how I just kind of cleaned out my brush with the water and a blue towel. Now while that brown paint is still wet, I'm going to come back and I'm going to layer some brown on or white on top of my brown. And that just kind of gives it some value. If you really like streaks of white through there, you can leave those. You can blend them a little bit more. We're just kind of creating some visual texture, okay, some applied texture. Not how it actually feels, but how it looks like it would feel on top here. I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way across. So painting with the brown. Kind of quickly laying some color on. If I leave some little white spots, that's okay. Okay, we're kind of creating some texture. Maybe I leave some scratchy spots with my brush. Okay, cleaning off my brush, using that rag to make sure it's nice and clean, and just dipping it in the white. I also have, or will let you grab um, fifth grade, some what, black at your tables. If you want to try adding some black, some darker colors into this, you can as well. Now just keep track or keep in mind that black is a really strong color. It will get really overpowering. So when I'm adding black, I'm just kind of adding a little bit. Okay, I still want to see that white and that brown and kind of see that color start to mix together. So using wet on wet, I'm kind of mixing the black and the brown all together. So you can add a little black as well if you would like. You are going to paint the whole background, finish up your drawing, and then next week we'll put them all together.